Thank you for joining me. Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. <sighs> Kaiser. Kaiser Knives. Made in China. I don't know. Does, does that kind of give you a little bit of clue maybe where this knife was made? I don't know. Now, one of our viewers who's very astute, I think he's a, a PhD in linguistics, said, you dummy. That's Klingon. <laughs> no, no, he's not advanced linguistics. PhD. No, that's Chinese, actually. And you can get this knife, by the way. This is called a Zoo Gang. Did I say that? So it was named after a bunch of people that used to hang out at the San Diego Zoo. No, no, you don't believe that either. No, I don't even, I don't know. I don't know why it's called a zoo gang. It means something in China. I didn't look that up. But uh, I know one thing. When a knife comes together, it's a joy. It really is. This knife is really nice. I mean, it is centered. The action's great. Of course, we know that uh, Mr. LTK likes cleavers. So, what do we got here? Stonewash S35VN. And not a small knife. 3.7 inch blade. Got that kind of bronze anno look. And yeah, you can get this one plain. Hold on, let me show you real quick. See, this is this is the one you're looking at, right? So it's 8.4 inches overall, 3.7, you know, 3.75. Uh, blade length. They're calling it a worn cliff. Better warn somebody. Oh, hey. Mine doesn't have the hole. Mine must be either a, an earlier edition or a later edition. That's strange. That just came up and hit me in the face. 188 bucks. You know, you might look. Um, I Kaiser's doing some closeout stuff and some sales. So look around. Look on eBay. Um, Ecop is a seller on eBay. And he usually has the best price on eBay. I've run into him many times because I put a knife up and I'm going, oh my God, this guy's incredibly horrible. His prices are so damn low. Nobody can make any money. So yeah, check him out. I do all the time. I, I've got a buddy that sells on eBay and he he hates e-cop, you know? Uh, they get it for, they, they get a knife for 25 bucks and they sell it for 27 bucks. It's like, who does that? Who, how do you, how do you not lose money? Okay, so. Zoo Gang, Titanium, Frame Lock, Flipper, S35VN, and uh, five ounces, blah, blah, blah. And um, the designer is Azo, so I don't know anything about that particular person. And there's your model number, KI4439. And, you know, pause and read. Now, um... I ask Mr. David, Mr. David's son of uh, Kaiser Knives, said, what's this mean, dude? Because no, it's not Klingon, actually. Yeah, and, you know, I, I, I was smart uh, back to, to him. <laughs> and I says, no, it's not dummy. That there is Vulcan. It says, live long and prosper. No, no, it's not either. Okay, this is what he says. <laughs> Writing says, literally, legal for circulation in 10,000 countries forever. So just, you know, just scribble that down. Tell your buddies, oh, yes. I mean, literally. Or more figuratively, like everywhere, every day. So it's an everywhere, every day, you know, it's just a wonderful knife. As opposed to cold steel anytime Anywhere, which sounds really threatening, but uh, everywhere, every day sounds more like EDC to me. So I guess that's what they're saying. EDC, and wow, you know what? This does EDC really nice. It really does. Really nice. It's, it's some pretty good stock on here. Probably four millimeters. What do you want to bet? Yep, there you go, right on which is 0.155 of an inch. Yeah, let's let's check out the handle. 
thickness. It doesn't seem real, real thick. So 13 millimeters, 0.51, so that's about standard. That's about standard. Nice contoured titanium. You know, you can see how it's, it's contoured here. Just a little bit of a backspacer where you can kind of run your lanyard hole through there. And you've got your, you know, Torx accessible, including the pivot, which is the pinwheel again design. So I know there's some guys out there just can't get enough of that pinwheel on the pivot. <laughs> I almost like to see him come with this because I know it really murders a couple guys out there that just... <laughs> <laughs> do not like that that pinwheel pivot but believe me if you look at their old school stuff this is a huge improvement big big time in any case whatever ki 4439 yes and you know what i think this would be an all right slicer and i think it could actually pierce as well but you got a lot of blade stock down here yeah, coming to reinforce this, so it's not a terribly fragile tip here. You know, no jimping here, no jimping anywhere around here, but it's just really smooth. It's kind of nice when a knife comes together and just feels good in the hand, has got really good action. Like that, really good. It's just everything about this just feels good to me. You know, the pocket clip is not milled, but you got two screws, so it stabilizes it really well. It goes in and out of the pocket. I've carried this one several times. I mean, uh, really, I just don't, I, I, you know, I'm kind of, this is, you know, most of the knives that I review are catch and release. Let's just say that. This one's been kind of very difficult for me to think about doing that because I got it at a really good deal uh, through a, a friend uh, who knows a, a knife dealer guy that was he was closing some of them out in any case so I, I grabbed this and uh, now I'm going I, I'm not sure that I could let it go oh I, you know what I never did show you is uh, if you don't like if you don't like the writing, you can get them plain. Okay. Same price, obviously. You know, but check these out on uh, eBay as well. Um, and maybe, you know, wherever, Discount Cutlery, Knife Works, uh, Knife Center, wherever. You know, I mean, I shop. I, I shop around for knives because, uh, you know, one of my things is uh, it's almost pure torture to... Uh, to pay retail for me. I don't know where that comes from, but I am a real barter person. Uh, I'll throw, I'll put offers in, you know, I go to freaking, I don't know, Sam's Wholesale or something, get the manager, hey, would you take, you know, it's like, it's marked, there's a price on it. Nah, not good enough for me. Come on, manager, make me a deal. So in any case, there's the model number and everything on this. Um, it comes, now, hold on, let's just get this out of the way real quick. Okay, so in case you are interested, yeah, three and three quarter inches. So about 96, 97 millimeter uh, length blade and uh, eight and three eighths overall, which is uh, not quite 21 and a half centimeters. Got that out of the way. Okay, comes in a box, which is, you know, if you haven't been into these boxes, and I, I wouldn't really... But in any case, let's just kick it out just in case. Yeah, comes in a nice black box because it's like a bladesmith or prime edition knife. And so it comes in a zipper pouch, which these are some heavy, heavy duty. I mean, this zipper's like, wow. Attach that to the back of your truck. And, and then, you know, it'll slip into this plastic and go in this pouch. And then you got these little two side-by-sides which is really nice. I mean, you can put other things in there. Maybe your tactical pen or whatever. Fire starter kit, whatever. And then, you know, extra little hardware. That probably for the uh, 
for the lock bar, I imagine, since it's got two screws, it looks like it. And then you get microfiber, cloth, and paperwork. So, I mean, I, I like it when they come together like that. I mean, I know, you know, some people don't like this camo pouch look. Let me just say, it's a pouch. And it's a really sturdy, well-done pouch. So, yeah, if you don't like the colors, yeah, okay. But, wow. Um, can we start naming companies that don't even give you a pouch? Much less a crush-proof box. I mean, it's really hard not to be excited about some of the Kaisers, especially when you can go out and do some bargain hunting, right? Love to do the bargain hunting. Just put you aside, buddy. Zoo gang. Yeah, I can hang with the gang, I'll tell you that. Dual thumb studs, really feels good in the hand. It's very ergonomic, obviously. You know, and it's not like a really tiny back end with a big, huge front. It's not that much difference between here and here as far as height goes. So, it, yeah, it feels pretty good. And you're not wrapping around and around here. It's... It's a tall enough handle to get meaningful grip. Reverse grip, also good. So, I mean, we could, I guess we could pick a little bit. I mean, this, I prefer my pocket clips to come up and then level off instead of stay up like this. On the other hand, that's really not much of a lift there. That's very, very slight. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I, I wear jeans and I stick this in my pocket and haven't haven't noticed. So I guess I'm oblivious to it. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, slides right in the pocket. Not a big deal. Would it be nice if it was a fancy mill club clip? Yeah, maybe. But, you know, s some of those mill clips are kind of a pain, to tell you the truth. Uh, and some of these stamp clips just work a lot better. I know they're not, they're just definitely not as sexy looking, but uh, they sure get the job done well. And I kind of like this bronze anno thing. Now, I, I wanted the characters. I don't know why, but I, I just, I did. So, you know, that's just me. If you want it plain, then you can get it plain. And then you could pimp it and do different things if you wanted or just leave it alone. But this one, I don't know. I just... I, I had to get this. Uh, so, yeah. Well, they make it either way. So, however you want to do that. Good looking knife, though. I like it. I've really enjoyed carrying this. Yeah. It'll do that, too. That's those things that knives do that we want them to do. <laughs> It's like, I bought a knife. Wonder if it'll cut something. Yeah. Yes, it will. But I don't know. It's just, I know I like the design. I know I like this cleaver look. But, you know, the action on this knife is really good. So, I mean, it just came out of the box like that. I didn't do anything. Never put any lube. Never took it apart. Never had to tighten the pivot. N nothing. Nothing. Just came out centered. Great action. Good feeling in the hand. You know, check this out. You got a little bit of jimping up here, but I'm not touching that. I mean, eh. I mean, I'm not really feeling that jimping because really this part of my finger is actually hitting the top of the flipper tab. I'm really not, and there's that jimping is not deep enough to be appreciably, uh, you know, engaged actually. So, it doesn't really matter, but it, it has a pretty good detent. I mean, I'm pulling on it. It ain't going nowhere. And once it releases, it's gone. I don't know if I... Um, you can break it away if you jump off of it once, you, once you've broken it from the detent. So I can fail any knife. This one, the bearings are just so good. Uh, I'd say it's a, a six and maybe a half, six and a half for detent. So it's, 
it's not crazy. It's it's a little bit more than like the real steel knives or the rake knives are, you know, a little stiffer than that, but not a lot stiffer. But the bearings are so smooth that it just carries the day. So it's it's great. Yeah, it just it's just where it needs to be. I don't want an eight in a detent. I don't want a number eight necessarily. I, I like this five and a half to six and three quarter. I mean, it's seven's even a little stiffer than I want it to be if the bearings are good. Yeah, feels good. I, I mean, I, it came together with this one. I mean, not all Kaiser knives to me or Wii knives or ZT knives or whatever translate necessarily all that great. Uh, you know, but there are models and you know it when you get it in your hand that it just, it works. It just works. This one works. Yeah, I like it. I really do. Yeah. Might be a keeper. Might be a keeper. I, I think it's going to make, you know, and, and knives that I can't keep right now, I, I have a little bucket list of what I eventually want to have end up in my collection. And this definitely, it, this has been actually on my bucket list for a while. Um, so, depends on how things go. Because my knives, in a way, and maybe to you too, are also maybe kind of backup funds if all hell breaks loose and everything goes bad. You always have maybe, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars worth of knives that you could liquidate to, to save the day if needed. And so it's not only, you know, like any collector, it's an investment. And uh, these, I, I think knives are a pretty good investment. You keep them, you keep them, you know, pretty mint. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've got my carry knives, but then I've got, you know, my collector knives. And this is, this has been light carry. I've really buckled down and done it, but I got a good price on it. And I thought, damn it, I'm going to carry it. It's, it's such a good knife. So it's kind of been more and more regular carry for right now. God only knows a new level will come along. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. Oh, crap. Did I ever tell you how uh, much this weighed? Because maybe I didn't. In any case, I'll do that, then I'll let you go. Sorry. It doesn't feel that heavy. And if you look inside, yeah, it looks like it's been, yeah, skeletonized out big time. Both ways, right? Yes, it does have the insert if you were wondering. No, there's no lock rock or blade play if you are wondering. And it's 5.1 ounces, which is pretty light. Not quite, you know, in the fours, but uh, not too bad. 145 grams. That will definitely work. Sorry, kind of left that one out. But yeah, I mean, that's part of the reason it's, it feels kind of fairly light for its size because of this skeletonized. And these scales are not super, super thick, but they're contoured. Really nice. Just, I really like it. Thank you for joining me. You know what we do around here. Yes, we do. We love them knives, so stay sharp.